I'm eating. I'm not either puppy. Oh, yeah. What's <laughs> 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 worse? <clears throat> I'm sorry, I was choking. What do you give a s'mores for? <coughs> Sorry. You caught me at the wrong time. <laughs> <coughs> Another one. This is the one that you had last time? What? <laughs> what? No, we're not. Yes, no, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, it's already booked and paid for. You're tripping. Yes, Where the hell are we going camping? We are going to be tomorrow morning. We're going to go camping in Carmel by the sea. I'm not even ready. That's why I gave you a whole day of oh early morning. Oh my god. <laughs> my plan is out of whack today. Well, what were you trying to do? Thank you. I asked around the house to do. Well, you still do yourself a task. We're not leaving tonight. <laughs> we're leaving tomorrow morning. So oh you have a whole day to still do stuff. Mm. <laughs> you wanted to go camping? Yeah, but I was <laughs> mentally prepared. Well, you already have a whole day. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a minute, y'all. So, today, what is today? December 28th, 2023. We are headed, where are we headed, babe? Uh, right now to Point Lobos. We're going camping tonight. <laughs> so Alex has been asking for his birthday this year. He's just wanted to go camping. He wanted to like, we actually want to take an RV and go camping along the coast, you know, and just travel. But financially, because of our remodel, love my bathroom, but you know, it's just been rough <laughs> financially wise. So we're just like, you know, it's a smart decision to just not do this big trip that was gonna cost us some money. However, though, he wanted to go camping. He wanted to go and set up a tent in muddy, rainy weather and sleep on the floor. And I was like, you know, not happy. Not gonna do it. I ended up finding this spot where we can go glamping. So we're meeting halfway. Um, so that's where we're headed. It's in Carmel by the Sea. I'm excited. And so, but first we're gonna do a little hike, go visit nature, and then we'll do our check-in, and then I have a nice dinner reserved for us, and then we'll just get to enjoy the, the tent tonight. And I'm very nervous about it because it's gonna be cold. It's not even a tent, it's a, like a mini cat. It's a tent, it's still outdoors. You, no, <laughs> so I'm just worried that's gonna be cold. So I packed a lot. This is what we're packing for one night. One night. <laughs> one night. We're coming home tomorrow. But anyways, yeah. So we'll see y'all there. I took a nap in the car, and we just got here. My love went to go get. We're grabbing some lunch before we go on a quick hike and then before we check in, so it's a cute little place. I'm getting a salad and Alex is deciding what he wants to get. What do you want to get? Uh, fortune between a burger and a turkey bread. So, change of plans. <laughs> so, the waves, apparently today is like really, really bad. What, would you, what do you call this, high tide? I don't know. I don't know, it's just the wind. Though. But it is... They closed Point Lobos where we were gonna go hiking because, let me show you guys these crazy waves. It is wild. See how bad the waves are like.
we are resting. Dying. <laughs> so we came prepared to like do a Point Lobos hike, which is like what? All flat. And then where we're staying, they actually have a um, their own little hiking trail. And it's two miles up and two miles back down. And we are not physically prepared. So we, <laughs> we did like half a mile up and we're gonna go right back down because we have dinner plans tonight. So we don't wanna be sweaty and running late for that. Maybe we'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> no, it feels gross. <laughs> Taste it, you wanna kill Touch. me? Look, it feels like cloth. They use this to keep it like warm in the walls. Oh. And build shelters. On the survival thing. Oh look, you have plenty of moss here to stay, take for your survival. Your survival needs, sir. No wonder they use it to keep everything warm. This is where we're at, chilling. I mean, where else can you go camping? You still be able to use your life and keep your hair. I love this place. I have all the amenities that a girl can need. Shower, bathroom. I mean, it's still outdoors. It's still camping, but it's a pretty nice little spot. Headed out. We're going to dinner and leave reservations at a nice Italian well known restaurant in Carmel. It's highly recommended. So, we're gonna go have some an early dinner so that we can come back and enjoy the campfire, make s'mores. Everybody get up! some lemonade. Have some sparkling lemonade. <laughs> So as the older we've gotten, our, our outings have definitely changed. So, and look at the sun that God is giving us. Tomorrow hey, might not be the same story. Hey. <laughs> but yeah, I'll show you. Guys, downtown Carmel is known for their little cottages. Look at this one. It's so cute. Yeah, little houses are tiny. how we went hiking earlier and we stopped to take a little break that's where we stopped on top of that mountain and where that Christmas tree is it's crazy we went all the way up there we had the best dinner and now we're just gonna get out of our uh, dining clothes and get into our uh, camping clothes who does this we go camping get dressed up and then have a <laughs> ball mass dinner and then come back glamping at its best just give you guys a little tour at night all of these come with their own little fire pit Stuff. Pop them bottles. Uh. And then we're about to make some s'mores. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna bet. 
I said after Christmas. I mean, after New Year's. <laughs> um, better than some other 30 year olds <laughs> so I feel good I love you happy birthday thank you thank you come on do that <laughs> okay I need you to explain what's happening here alright so we <laughs> we didn't have any sticks because I, I couldn't find them and I forgot them um, for the s'mores and I look for sticks around here and they're really dirty <laughs> So I'd rather not use those. Um, I tried doing it with my hand and we learned that that will burn me. <laughs> so what I did is I took a graham cracker. I cut it in half long ways. I kind of jimmied the marshmallow in there. So now I can put it over the fire. See, now I won't burn my fingers. Look at you. Yay for creativity. See? Look at you. Perfect. Hey, that should be a hack. We need to record that. <laughs> put it on TikTok. You might go viral. Bam. <laughs> and this is why I love you. Because you are fucking intelligent. And that is a perfect s'more. And you saw how you pulled it off? Yeah, see? Like, perfect. It made it even Perfect easier. s'more. Perfect. I'm going to post you on TikTok. <laughs> All right. All right. So, I'll show you a little hack. Um, we're here camping. And I forgot our s'more sticks. So I tried lighting the marshmallows to warm them up with my hand, kind of just getting them on the edge. We learned that wasn't a good idea since it burned my fingers. Um, don't have any sticks, don't want to use any of the ones around here. So I have this graham cracker. I'm gonna break it. Damn it, <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> yes, I remember. Crack it. <laughs> Cut. Three. Clear up all the crumbs. All right. All right. Ready? Ready? All right. Let's do this. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna crack this uh, long ways. Just enough to where I can get a little bit of a marshmallow on the end. <laughs> wow. I'm making it easier to break. Oh my god. Stop laughing as people sleep. So we're gonna do a half, we're gonna do a half stick. And we're gonna go with that, okay? That's what's good. That's what we're gonna do. All right. Let me know when you're ready. Oh, oh God. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just take a graham cracker, break it in half. If you can do a vertical, that works too. I just need a little piece. Grab my marshmallow. Kind of gotta jimmy it in there. Yeah, so it gets stuck a little bit, which shouldn't be hard. And then <laughs> you grab your, grab your ground. Babe, what the fuck? You fucked it up. Why just start laughing? All right, so I'm gonna take a graham cracker and break it in half. So I have a little piece here. Take a marshmallow. Get a jimmy it in there, just so it gets stuck a little bit, right? Now I'm gonna take my marshmallow using this. Look, I don't have to touch the flame anymore. So get that going. See? Then I get my graham cracker with my chocolate. Put that out. 
and there you go. Got a perfect s'more. And I didn't burn my fingers. I don't want to get up. It's cold. Good morning, guys. We just woke. I just woke up. It's like Alex said it's alarm for 9:30 and it's 10. He doesn't want to get up, but it's his birthday, so he gets to sleep in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm gonna get ready in this bed because it's cold as fuck outside. It's cold, so I'm gonna get do my makeup in here. And my hair's pretty much done for the day, so yeah, I planned us an excursion today. I'm very excited about um because Point Lobos is still closed. <laughs> and I really wanted to go to Point Lobos, and so did Alex. We wanted to be by the ocean, but the waves are still um raging, so it's still closed. So that kind of threw my plan for a loop. But either way, we're gonna explore Carmel because when are we gonna come back here, babe? Are you gonna bring me here camping every year? No. <laughs> so we might as well enjoy it. <laughs> so yeah. What'd you get for your birthday? I got all meat pizza, but I bought a small one because it said four slices, because I bought bread and got some salad. And it is four slices, but... <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday! Yep. So I booked a little excursion through Airbnb where it's a scavenger hunt through Carmel because Point Levels is still closed. So it's pretty cool. I don't think we've ever done anything like this before. Mm -hmm. Like we do a lot of cool things, but this is probably, we'll see. We'll see how we like it. We'll see how exciting it is. And then the sun came out for Alex's birthday. It was supposed to rain today. I'm so thankful. The sun is out for babe's birthday, but yeah. Ten minutes to a hunt begins. So our stuff sent us on a mission to a particular house. The waves are angry. Here are the cutest. I am not lying to you. They are so cute. Ugh, I wish I could live here. <laughs> How do I get to live here? do our highs and lows before it's nap time for Drea. 
<laughs> for his nap time. <laughs> Must be nice. Whose birthday is it? <laughs> you want me to drive? I'll drive. <laughs> exactly. Um, my high. What is my high? I can't choose that for me. You know, actually, my high was just like yesterday when we were at the fire and um, we were just like asking each other questions and just had a really good in-depth conversation and then when you were trying to do your graham cracker tutorial that shit was like the funniest thing ever <laughs> it was so funny we did like five takes and still didn't get it right but and then my low um i would say that point low was being closed because if we were really, really looking forward to well i was looking forward to being by the ocean and just walking around and going on a nice little like chill hike that we were forced to do like an uphill hike which kind of was rough but that would be my low uh, so my high i mean it was the overall trip itself because i enjoyed um you know doing all the different things but for sure you know like like i told you yesterday i enjoyed just sitting by a fire and looking into it and enjoying the time and so that definitely was a high for me just chilling uh so same low i really didn't have a low the only thing is i mean it sucked when we did the hike and i got sick because i just ate but other than that good trip can't complain and carmel is so cute it's like seriously one of the cutest beach towns i've ever been to and we went on this scavenger hunt and we learned a lot of things first of all the people there carmel named their houses everybody has a name for their house it's cute they have like little signs on there and then they have no street lights in Carmel, zero. So when it's dark, it's dark. And um, there's 40 plus cottages. Yeah, there's like fairy tale cottages all throughout the town. And um, then there's 41 hidden paths or like alleyways. Yeah, like there's just like cute little tunnels. Not, I don't say tunnels, but like like walkways, walkways between buildings. Between buildings. Um, and then the final fact, I, which I love, is that Carmel has no chain restaurants. That's right. There's not a single McDonald's, Applebee's. There's nothing that, everything is locally owned restaurants, which I love because we love to support local. And it just, I don't know, it's like a different vibe when you're working for your own money, you know? You're not working for, I mean. Food is different. I don't know. You just have a higher expectation of your your food and stuff. So, yeah, but this was our Carmel two-day getaway, you know. I would love to be here longer, but honestly, this was perfect. It was just a little getaway for my birthday boy, and we did the things that he loves to do. Did you have a good birthday trip? Awesome birthday trip. Till the next one. I'm back in school in January, so it'll probably be a minute before we go anywhere else. <laughs>